Well, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Bernie Sanders has had quite the 24 hours. You know, there's been some takes from, you know, never Bernie Democrats saying he's washed up, saying he's, you know, a secret Russian agent, quote unquote, saying that they'll never support him. You have some media saying, you know, Washington Post saying that he's a, a he's a one hit wonder and he won't amount to anything. Um, but it was a great day. Bernie raised basically six million dollars in about 24 hours give or take that's incredible that dwarfs what you see from uh, other democratic front runners the 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 next highest person kamala harris raising less than half of that in her first day basically um it's, it's an incredible amount of money and i think it's incredibly important because it demonstrates one of bernie's key objectives which is that he's never going to have the power of the elite on his side. But the weight of each individual regular working class person adds up. And that small donations here and there add up. And if we look at the data, the data says 6 million. It's fantastic. But that's not coming from a series of large donors. That's coming from over 225,000 people giving on average about $27. And of course, that was the famous quote last time around from Bernie Sanders. My average donation size is $27, which is to say, on average, the people donating to me are giving what they can, but they're not giving, you know, luxurious sums of money demonstrating that the people I support are regular people with regular concerns and regular means. And I'm on their side. And that does mean that I'll have to work a little bit harder to raise money because I need to go to more people. But it also means that I am representing those people. So this is incredibly important. Bernie also, and this is key to note here, um, got about $600,000 a month in recurring donations. That's incredible. For those who are involved in politics, you'll probably realize that uh, recurring donations are incredibly important. Um, in some ways, you'd rather take a little bit less money sometimes, um, like take less in terms of one-time donations if it meant getting you know a good sum of recurring donations because if you're running a long campaign, and, and this will be a long campaign, uh, the primary alone will be at least a year and a bit long, and then you have to consider you know, a potential presidential election. Um, the reality is, is that you need money now. Yes, you need that money bomb, but you also need recurring funds. It's very important, and it also denotes not just your raw fundraising capabilities in the short term, but it also demonstrates your ability to, on an ongoing term, collect the money you need, right? It shows um, a certain stability. Uh, very important. So I think this is a, a crucial uh, moment for the Sanders campaign. It was one of his first tests. Does he have the base that he built during 2016? And, and, the, and the base that he's kind of continued to grow since um, the end of the 2016 election, uh, has, he, has he kept that? And the answer seems to be yes, that he's demonstrated an ability to, to energize people, to energize on social media, to get people to donate the money they have. Again, nothing luxurious, nothing exorbitant. Bernie's not going to be getting, you know, corporate PAC money. Bernie's not going to be getting, you know, big checks from from the you know the the one percent or the five percent so much it's going to primarily come from regular people and that's crucial that's crucial and bernie's quote here you know he had a press release to talk about these numbers uh, rightfully so they're they're excited the sanders campaign but there's a quote here from the sanders campaign and they say you know the only way we will win this election and create a government and economy that work that that works for all of us is with a grassroots movement the likes of which has never been seen in American history. They may have the money and the power, but we have the people. And that's and that, and that's massive. And Sanders demonstrating that in his you know his opening message, but then but then you know backing it up with this this fantastic day of grassroots fund, fundraising is 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 incredible. So I think that this is a great start. I think that the question then becomes. Why is this so concerning to the elite, to some of his challengers, to some of the media? 
And I think that's clear. For his challengers, obviously, even if they're not necessarily anti-Bernie, it's just it's a concern. You want to win this race too. And you have an opponent who clearly has demonstrated an ability to have both, you know, fundraising quantity, but also fundraising, you know, breadth. He can raise a lot of money from a lot of different people from all 50 states. That's incredible. That's going to show that you have a, you know, at least one other major challenger between you and the nomination. But for a lot of the elite, I think this is especially concerning. Because for so long, they've dominated politics in part because of their ability to raise money, either directly for candidates or through, you know, uh, PACs and, and other kind of third party fundraising that is so influential. And it's often kind of been said that one of the challenges of the Democratic Party kind of in recent history has been, well, if we have to rely largely on, you know, some of the same corporations that donate to Republicans, how can we offer, when push comes to shove, a fundamentally different vision? We can offer some different things, of course, but we can't really challenge the powers that be because those are the powers that bankroll us. But when Bernie demonstrates an ability to fundraise and to out-fundraise all of his other opponents, some of which will likely be able to get backing of the kind of corporate and, and party establishment. When he can raise them without big donations, raising about $27 per person, that shows that it can be done, that you don't need the, the corporate elite to do it, that you can raise money from working people who are just trying to get by, who probably as a proportion of their income are giving a great deal, but are giving something because they believe in it, because they want to see change, because they know Bernie Sanders is offering something that inspires them, that speaks to them, that speaks to their hopes, that speaks to their fears, that speaks to their aspirations for their children, but also the concerns they have for the future that, they'll le the, that we are leaving the next generation and the generation after that. So the reality is, Bernie's showing that the, the old model, the old bottleneck, the old corporate bottleneck, it's not needed anymore. At least not when you run an inspiring, bold, ambitious, genuine, popular policies. You don't need, you don't need the elite anymore. And so it's not going to be a kind of cognitive dissonance when Bernie says, let's tax the rich let's go after the rich, let's use this class war that for generations, if not longer, has been waged against us, and let's wage it to, to achieve a just social order, it's not going to be a clash. You're not going to hear that from Bernie and then say, well, you know, Bernie says that, you know, to get the donations and get the votes and get the nomination and what have you, but, you know, big banks, pharmaceutical companies, insurance companies, you know, uh, fossil fuel developers, all of them are cutting him checks to varying degrees. All of them are, you know, donating through PACs to varying degrees. It's pretty clear that he's, he owes them something. And even if he doesn't say it, we know it to be true. Bernie's, Bernie's demonstrated you don't need any of that. Bernie's demonstrated you don't need any of that. And that's got to be scary if you're a billionaire. Because what do you have if not your largely unearned wealth to distort the political process? What do you have? You're just one person. Your, 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 your currency is the only thing that supposedly gives you political power. And it still does, don't get me wrong. Bernie alone will not change, you know, pork barreling and will not change the ability of rich people to put their thumb on the scale. But let's be real. Bernie's success scares the elite because it shows we don't need them to succeed. And that's what's very special about this, 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 this fundraising. And that's what's very exciting about this fundraising. And my hope is that Bernie Sanders can continue to generate this energy and generate the volunteer base and carry this momentum into the general election, showing that in a country of 300, and more, 300 million people plus, that when regular people get together, they can defeat the 1%.